What's up everybody, and today I'm going to be doing a slightly different video than what I normally do. This was requested by a friend of mine, and we're, I'm going to be doing my first ever tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be doing how to replace your wheel bearings on a Traxxas Rustler. So let's get right into the step process. Now for step one, you want to clean out the area where your bearings are so you have no dirt or debris in there that can rub and wear the bearings out even more or could damage your car. So I have some you know, wet ones here, any, any wipes or even just water will do fine. Um, but just make sure it's everything's taken apart before you wipe it down. All right, step two, you wanna take your axle here but first, you want to slide uh, there it is, one of the bearings onto your axle before you even put it in. So when you put your axle on, it doesn't. You can actually put it in, and it won't be as difficult. And you also want to line it up with the four little spaces in between. Or if you don't do that, it will not go on. Now you got to put it through the hole. And there we go, we're in the hole. And you also have to extend this outward until all the way, all the way in, and then the bearings in, all the way until you, this little hole here, there's a hole right in here where a little pin goes in. You gotta make sure that's in, all right? Now, take your other bearing, slide it over through here, and slide it into the other gap where it's supposed to go. Make sure it is very tight. To kind of hold it, let's put it in all the way until it slides all the way in. And there is room for you to put the pin. But before you put the pin in, make sure to put your parts in a bag. If you don't do that, you may not have a good day. There's a little washer there's two little washers that go in right before the pins go in. They look like this. Hold on, let me just hold up in the camera. You can barely see it. This is what the washers look like. You put those in first, you know, so it doesn't rub. So the pins don't rub. And the pins are what keep these little, almost like, I want to say octagons on, or even just hex, yeah octagon something like that and this is what the tires actually connect to so they don't just you know spin around the circle without doing anything i'm gonna put that all the way in the back right there then you want to take your pin and slide it through the hole sometimes it may be difficult to get it in the hole which i do understand and if it is difficult, you're probably gonna have to use oil. Where's that? Oh, where did I put that? Freddy. Somewhere. Ah, oh, whatever. Once you get that pin in, which I'll skip the video, then you're gonna wanna put this in and then put your tire back on. And remember, you have to do this twice over. So this is just one side, but you can also repeat the exact same process on the other side. And the final step is to put your wheels on. Now, I recommend that you put the little um, octagon-like thing on. Um, it Put it into the right position with that little um, bolt-like thing. Yeah, with that little pin. You put both tires on, but do not put the nuts on. And squeeze both tires together, and they will snap in. Because trying to snap it in with just the... Um, hexagon itself or octagon whatever it is um it's pretty hard to do and this is a lot easier and then the final step like i just said is to put your tires on and then tighten up the bolts and you are good to go and that is it for this tutorial video there will be more videos just like this in the future but this is the, only the first tutorial video that i have ever done and I hope it was informative. I hope you liked it. And I hope you actually learned something from this video. And you can apply it to your own Traxxas 
Rustler or probably any other Traxxas. So thank you for watching and this video is over.